Hello everyone, uh, this is a, another video that I don't really like making. However, um, I just learned this uh, afternoon, today's the 12th of January 2022, um, that 60s icon, 60s girl group singer extraordinaire, Miss Ronnie Spector, uh, passed away uh, at the age of uh, 78. And um, I have a statement here that her family put out on social media. They said, and I quote, Our beloved Earth Angel Ronnie peacefully left this world today after a brief battle with cancer. She was with family and in the arms of her husband, Jonathan. Um, and they announced that they're planning some sort of celebration of her life and her music in the near future. However, they're asking for um, privacy at this point. Now, um, I'm recording this a little bit after five o'clock and none of the major outlets have put this out yet. I haven't seen um, Rolling Stone I'll, as of this point hasn't put anything out. So I thought I would go ahead and share it with you all. Um, of course, Ronnie Spector, uh, most known as the lead vocalist of the group the Ronettes who were popular in the early to mid 60s. They were um, vocalists for Phillies Records which was um, of course operated by Phil Spector. Uh, Phil Spector would eventually marry uh, Ronnie in the uh, late 60s 1968 which was a big deal because it was a um, not a common practice for there to be um, interracial um, marriages and um, so that was a big controversy in and of itself not to mention the even back then the um, the notorious nature of Phil Spector he was known to be um, not a kind man even in those early days and um, Ronnie did um, she did have a, a, a memoir in 1990 and um, she was also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007 with the Ronettes. Um, I'm not going to focus on her on her marriage to, to Phil Spector because that is a dark time. But um, I do have a couple of uh, of albums um, with Ronnie on them. This is um, the Essential Phil Spector, where you have all sorts of um, Phil Spector's artists. Um, and of course, the Ronettes, their biggest hit, I would say, is the song Be My Baby, which has that killer um, drum beat by uh, Hal Blaine. And um, if, if, I, if I remember correctly, there's a, docu there's a documentary called The Wrecking Crew, where they discuss the, the members of The Wrecking Crew. And Hal Blaine mentioned that that, even, that wasn't even supposed to be the start of the song, that that was going to be just his count in, but it sounded so good. They kept that, that isolated drum beat that boom, 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 bop, boom, 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 bop. They, they left that uh, in the final take. And that of course is what makes the song really, including the, you know, the catchy chorus, but that intro is, you know, reason enough for Hal Blaine to, to, you know, stand amongst giants in the drumming world. But anyway, um, so yeah, this, has you know some Ronettes hits on it. Um, you have songs like Be My Baby on here, Baby I Love You, The Best Part of Breaking Up, When I Saw You, Do I Love You, Walking in the Rain, which is um, a, a, a probably one of their last hits um, in 1964, I believe. Um, yeah, 1964. And then the last one on, they have a song called Paradise. And then I Wish I Never Saw the Sunshine. Um, so the Ronettes are well um, shown on here. And then, of course, the classic, um, A Christmas Gift for You, which became um, also known as the Phil Spector Christmas album. Um, Ronnie and the Ronettes are on here with their classic version of um, the Ronette, I mean, of uh, Frosty the Snowman, um, Sleigh Ride, Marshmallow, oh, excuse me, um, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, and... Um, yeah, I mean it's just um, just a, such a such a classic sound, and 
for some reason, this this particular death uh, hit me just a little bit a little bit different than than some others. Um, it, you know, it wasn't like I was a huge Ronettes fan. Um, however, I am a big uh, Beach Boys fan, and Brian Wilson has made no qualms about saying that "Be My Baby" um, is the greatest pop song ever written. And especially when he was um, struggling with addiction and depression while he was um, laying in bed all day in the 70s. Um, I know his, his wife, Marilyn, and his housekeeper said that he would listen to that song all day long on repeat. And so who knows how many times he's heard that song. And of course, it was the, uh, the inspiration to the Beach Boys song, Don't Worry Baby, which is another um, favorite song of mine by the Beach Boys. Um, of course, Rami, she also picked up a little bit more um, fame in 1986 when she guest vocaled with uh, Eddie Money on the song Take Me Home Tonight, in which he specifically mentions the, um, the song Be My Baby with the line, you know, listen, honey, just like Ronnie sang. And then Ronnie Spector jumps in and says, you know, be my little baby. Um, just a killer, a killer voice. She had like that, that classic Brooklyn sounding voice. Um, she was um, recording up until, well, she was performing up until you know, close to the end. Um, a little bit different with COVID, but um, yeah, she was still active. She was um, still making you know music and touring and singing those old Ronette songs, um, which is quite the accomplishment considering the Ronettes only put out one true album. But anyway, I don't want this to go on too long. I just wanted to to kind of give, you know, my tribute to, to Ronnie Spector. And um, it's just a, it's just one of those classic 60s voices now that's been silenced. And um, they become fewer and fewer. And um, that Ronnie Spector to me, between Ronnie Spector and Darlene Love, they are the ones that made the Spector sound. Um, they helped with that wall of sound that he always tried to attain and um, her voice will be missed and um, you know God bless Ronnie's family and her friends and um, her husband and um, you know go listen to go listen to be my baby tonight and um, think of Ronnie so I will uh, talk to you all again hopefully on a much lighter video very soon so take care